I look a hot mess but that doesn't matter because today is January 1st so I want to wish you a happy happy new year may you receive more blessings more opportunities more love laughter good memories for the year 2024 so the reason that I'm looking a hot mess <laughs> I just got out of the shower and I thought, you know what, let me record a length video because uh, a length check video because I haven't done that for a while now. The first day of the year is a good way to start, right? So yeah, let me fix my face first and then let's do a length check. Like I said, today is January 1st and i hope you had a fabulous great um new year so at the end of the year i'm always in church for crossover so we did that and i came home pretty early i was home around 1 30 and to be honest <laughs> i went online scrolling on instagram and tiktok and i got and i went to bed around oh um, around three o'clock something like that so with social media sometimes you're like oh let me just scroll and see what's popping what's going on and before you know <laughs> two hours three hours has uh, has passed so yeah last day I was like oh yesterday this morning I was like Amelia it's three o'clock go to bed so yeah I went to bed and I woke up early I woke up around nine o'clock something like that and yeah i just went on with my day and yeah like i said i'm now going to um declutter i'm going to collect any old clothing items that i really don't wear anymore that i'm not interested in or doesn't suit my style anymore like this year and even last year i focused Oh my days, Amelia. So last year, 2023, I focused on, not, not really focused, but I really wanted to elevate my style because yeah, I'm a grown woman now. I'm a grown, young, fabulous woman. I'm 36. And even though I'm aging with grace, I noticed that my style was still, was the same style that I had. 10 years ago, 15 years ago. So I was like, nah, we gotta switch it up. We gotta switch it up. So I'm going, after this, I'm going to um, go through my closet and get rid of all the clothes that I really don't wear anymore. Oh, am I getting a cold? What is this? why so that is one of my activities for today also i really need to do laundry like real bad like i haven't done my laundry <laughs> for two weeks now so everything is now piling up so i look presentable i will list all the products in the in the description box like I have combination skin and for me, I really love a product that is gel based, um, hydrating and light. Although I'm combination skin, your face still needs to be hydrated. So yeah, I love this product that I've been using for a while now. Let's move on to the hair. My hair this year has really improved. Um, I'm back on my consistent schedule when it comes to um, moisturizing my hair and keeping up with my trims um, I think this week this coming Saturday on watch that I will do another trim because I'm due but like I said I really wanted to do a proper length check so normally when people do a length check length length check <laughs> they um, uh, blow dry their hair or even use a flat iron just to straighten out their hair uh, well as you can see my hair is already dry so I'm not able to uh, use a 
a heating tool on my hair i'm going to do a different type of length check i like this method because it also shows me how my hair is how thick my hair is so for this year not even this year like my goal for the past few years has been my series is so yeah Nee. Dat is het. My bad. So, the method that I'm going to do, I like this method because it also shows the thickness of my hair. For the past few years, my goal has really been to even out my hair length. I want my hair to be thick from the roots to the bottom. And yes, of course, you can have layers, uh, but I really want thickness. Let me say fullness. Let me let me say it correctly. I want fullness because thickness is also based on the um, texture of your hair. So as you can see, I have hair. So that is not really um, my problem. My focus for now is I want fullness from root to end. So let's part my hair in sections. I'm first going to section my hair off because I want to I want to see it in different. Uh, faces so the front the back and my crown area so this the front then I want to part for my crown area and then I want so this is my crown area and even now looking at it I need to cut this off like you see the thickness how it go from thick to thin so we're just going to braid it so that you can see it more clear so you can already see can you see it let me come closer how it is going from thick to thin and not to say that that's a bad thing, right? But like I said, my goal is to have a full length. And this is a little bit too much. This is a little bit too much. So let me hold it. I hope you can see it. How it is spreading, right? <laughs> okay. So this is my crown area. Really, really going to focus on this area. That is one of my main focus. Same thing. I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. So see how it is really changing from thickness to thinness. Okay, let's go to the back. Same thing. And again, this is not a bad thing, but I still want more fullness. Okay, the back is like to be honest, the back is better than my front. Like, see how it is gradually is going from thick to thin. Like from in my in my opinion, the front is going from thick to thin. And this is gradually going from thick to thin, if that makes sense. But this is a way for me to see how my hair is doing when it comes to fullness. So this year I'm going to focus more on retaining length. Um, of course, growing up my hair the healthy way. But also I just want to have fun with my hair. Like for the in like last month December, I really did some cute hairstyles, and I was really feeling my hair. And I noticed that I noticed for the past couple of years, I stopped enjoying my hair in a sense of um, being creative. I even bought um, a round brush. I brought I bought rollers. Like I want to be more creative i want to be more in my feminine i want to be more um 
how do you say it? I want to bring out my feel good, look good, um, sexy self more out, if I make sense. The goal will always be having healthy hair, right? Especially when you're relaxed. Being healthy is really, really, really a priority. So again, uh, focus on retaining my length, focusing on being consistent with my trims, um, getting rid of the split ends, dead ends, and great, <laughs> I look crazy. But yeah, this is my length check. This is my length check. This is my hair. This is an easy way also for yourself to guide and see how your hair growth is going. Are you growing out your hair? Are you retaining length? Like, this is easy. You don't need to use heat on your hair. You can do it just like that. I know I look crazy, but I don't care. <laughs> Past my shoulders. So, yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. And this is my hair loose. So I'm now just going to moisturize my hair and all your scalp and yeah, get ready with my day. But like I said, I just want to show you my quick length check. My hair's not straight, but let me show you my back. All right, so yeah, there was my length check. <laughs> this part needs to go. It needs to go. So as I'm growing my hair, I will gradually um, even out my length. Um, so that's why it's also really really important for me to be consistent with my trims. Oh, this more hair I don't want to make this video too long. It is what it is I wanted to come in show you my hair current state if you have hair goals just like me start off with doing a length check and Work your way up like enjoy your hair embrace your hair uh, have fun with your hair that is what i am going to do so yeah thank you for watching again happy new year much love thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel